it was not possible for us to to know that they they will play with uh, with Fernandinho in a back three on the right. So we di we discover that surprise uh, just uh, before the whistle of the referee. Rudy Garcia will talk about the, the game Lyon Manchester City in the uh, UEFA Champions League season 1920. Uh, the game was in Lisbon for the final eight. It was particular because uh, it was at the end of the, after the end of the season because of the COVID in March 2020 uh, the competition stopped in France and it was the second game of uh, official game of our season, the beginning of, of the next season. So this day, the 15th of August 2020, we know that playing a Guardiola's team means that you will have maybe 30 persons ball possession to, to can score and to can beat them. And uh, the rest of the time, you need to, to defend well and, um, and, and very well and not let them use the spaces, particularly in the box. We will uh, speak about that after. For that competition, I played with the back three. Uh, Anthony Lopez was the, my goalkeeper. And I played with Denayer, Marcelo and Marsal. The wingers were uh, Maxwell Cornet, who is a forward normally, and Leo Dubois. In the midfield, we played with three players, Bruno Guimaraes, uh, Usem Awar, who did a uh, fantastic final eight, and uh, a, young, a very young one, uh, Maxence Cacré, who is for him uh, maybe the second game in, in Champions League. Memphis Depay, our captain, and Carl Tokoy can be a very, very interesting fast uh, attacker. We expected Manchester City in a 4-3-3 like this or 4-2-3-1 like this. But when they give us one hour before the game, the first 11, it was not possible for us to, to know that they, they will play with, uh, with Fernandinho in a back three on the right. So we, we discovered that surprise uh, just uh, before the whistle of the referee. Uh, so they played with Ederson, Walker Cancelo, Eric Garcia in the center of the back three, Laporte, and uh, Fernandinho was uh, the, the right center back. After that, they played with Rodri, Gundogan, uh, Sterling, Gabriel Jesus, and uh, for me, the best player of this team, Kevin De Bruyne. We prepared this game with uh, clear instructions. Like you can see, the density, the defensive density and offensive density of my players is in the center. So for us, the instruction for my forwards was put the game on the side, don't let play Rodri, okay? And after, well defend on the side and be careful to to these passes from the side to the box with uh, De Bruyne, Gabriel Jesus or Sterling on, on, on the left. We know that uh, better for us than the central defender have the ball than Gundogan, Rodri or Kevin De Bruyne who are very creative players. The other instruction was uh, because we know that uh, we knew that we we had only thirty persons uh, ball possession, recovery of the ball, playing back to the defense. So the the first the first goal was uh, something like that, high defense because they play always high. They have a ball, good ball possession when they lose the ball. There is a big counter pressing from uh, Manchester City. So the first goal, Marcelo, long ball for Toko Ekambi, who was not offside with Eric Garcia. 
Ederson uh, goes from the ball and Corne follow very well the, the action. He had the ball here and he cut score uh, for the first goal just here. The VAR confirmed that was not offside. So the second part of the plan was very good about eating them in the spaces behind the, the, the back of their defense. Half time one one nil for us, and after five minutes, the second um, the second half uh, happened. Um, what what we knew at the half time. At the half time, I told my player they can't uh, stay like this with the back three, so they will change. Maybe at the beginning of the second half, or maybe later. Mares enter take off Fernandinho, and Mares enter on the right side of the attack of Manchester City, and he put uh, De Bruyne in a 4-2-3-1, like this. Um, like I told you, the, the, the big quality, th there are a lot of qualities, but the big quality of City is to can, to can play in the spaces in the box. So they did like this, uh, Mares with, with Sterling, Mares ball on the, on the spaces, Sterling uh, with, with Donayer uh, defending, but, but De Bruyne came here, in the, in the back in, and, uh, and uh, Sterling gave him the ball for the 1-1. One -one. So, typical Manchester City offensive action, but uh, like I told to my player, the, the opponent had the right to play well. So, it's not always our fault or our mistake. After that, I remember I take off Dubois, who was in difficulty in the right side. I put Tete, a physical one. My first substitute was Mendes, a stronger midfield, stronger than, than Bruno Guimaraes. And after that, I, I put Tete and I put Dembele in the match on the 1-1. One -one because it was necessary for us to have uh, two quick players in the front. It was 1-1 until uh, 75, minute 75, when, uh, when Dembele and uh, Tete enters for us. Uh, because like I told you, uh, I needed some quick player and, and fresh player in, the, in, the, in my attack. The second goal was a, a recover from uh, maybe Maxence Cacré. Laporte had the ball. He tried to play with the midfield. Cacré uh, recovered the ball, give to Awar. And after Awar's play in the spaces, Toko Ekambi was offside, but he didn't touch the ball. And, uh, and Dembele was uh, faster than, than Laporte. And 1-1 one -one against uh, Ederson, it was 2-1 for us. So it was like we thought the, the game, the possibility of hit, hit, hit them back, back to, the, to, to their defense. One of the key moments of the, of the game was the, the very big uh, opportunity for Sterling. Uh, just before we scored the, the third goal with, uh, with Dembele. But in football, it's, it's always like, like this. Uh, when one team has a big opportunity like, like Sterling, if they miss the, this opportunity, in the, in the few minutes after this opportunity, th there is a big danger for the team who, who missed this, this action. So one of the key moments was that, Sterling in front of the goal without goalkeeper, without no one, and he, he kick uh, uh, over the bar. In football, you need to have a, a little chance also to, to, to win, but we can push the chance in, in our side. The third goal came in a, in a long ball from, uh, from Anthony Lopez. Maybe Dembele fighting in the air. And after Red Adelaide recovered the ball, and. Uh, and go with the ball, with Dembele, with Awar maybe, and playing a, a four against three. Pass from Rena Delay to Awar, shoot at the goal, and, uh, and Anderson let the ball go, and, uh, and, um, and Dembele scored his second goal and the third for us. It was clear that the game was, was finished. We, we played well and in the end, and uh, we knew that Maybe for City, it was also a psychological problem because they tried to win this Champions. The years before, it was quite difficult for them to, to go to semi-final. So maybe we, it, it was also uh, an important thing for us 
to be all the time, all the game in the, in the, in the score, because we, we lead the game win 1-0, one, one uh, we will again the, 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 the game with 2-1. And uh, the psychological point, it was very, very good for us to play like this, to lead like this the match, to have uh, success in this opportunity. So for Lyon, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an historic game for, for sure, and an historic result.